Hi, it's John Degatardi from Supply Partners. We're here at the Australian Solar Council Exhibition 2016 in Melbourne. I'm here with Frank Delmayer from Tropical Energy Solutions. Welcome, Frank. Thank you, John. Tropical Energy Solutions, can you tell us a little bit about the company? Well, we are a company uh, based in Townsville and Cairns. Townsville is the headquarter. Uh, we are around for almost 10 years. Uh, we like to think that we do things slightly different to some other companies. We come from an engineering perspective, so we like to get things right from a technical point of view. Uh, as a result, we are often involved in larger and more complex projects uh, in the terms of uh, the solar industry. These are commercial projects or off-grid or standalone power systems. Uh, but we are not limited to solar. We are doing also uh, projects that include wind turbines. We have been involved in a hydro project. And we do a lot of uh, technical consulting work, energy audits uh, or measurement and verification services. And in these areas, we often work with local governments, commercial operators, um, even energy utilities. Ergon Energy is one of them. Um, so there's a suite of services, and we like to think that they uh, go together very well and form a package that allows us to offer true solutions to our customers. That's an extremely broad yet um, spectrum of, of things to do. Is it, um, is it? Is it that energy auditing part of the business that helps you direct which 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 methodology? Or, you know, give, you know, obviously engineering background, and then you do the audit. Is is it yes. that background which helps you direct which which sector to cut? to take a potential customer down? Yes, I think we have realized very early that uh, just putting a solar system on a roof is not necessarily the ideal solution. It has to be viewed in the context of other things to bring down energy costs and to increase the efficiency, whether it's a household or a business. Uh, the other reason that uh, energy auditing has become so important to our business is that when we started uh, working with solar systems, that goes back quite a while before we had all these attractive government schemes and feed and tariffs. So in those days we were building off-grid standalone power systems for people who run a cattle station out west or a resort on a Great Barrier Reef island. And you can't build an off-grid or standalone power system without having a very good understanding where the power is going, yeah. where, where you need it, when do you need it, and how you can optimize it. Because otherwise you might run the risk that let's say you replace an existing genset and the operation is very inefficient, then you build a system that is far larger than what it needs to be. It's much smarter to first optimize the load and, and the consumption and then build a system to just suit that optimized load. And so we had to develop the tools and the procedures to do energy audits, not just to tick boxes, but to do audits that really helped us to develop a load profile that includes seasonal variations, that includes um, to understand what are the peak loads and how can we shift these loads. And by doing that, we were able to build systems that work really well, that take care of seasonal variations, that work in different environments, and that basically minimize the amount of diesel fuel that you use in these generators. And uh, yeah, as a result, we then started to offer energy auditing as uh, a service in itself and that was picked up by people who operate on the grid and try to identify what other saving opportunities exist. Um, I, can, I can assume from what you say that uh, you know, any energy audits would be the most, um, you know, understand how you consume electricity is, 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 and, and when and, and, and then tailoring solutions is uh, how uh, you know, the most important thing an end consumer should be looking at in, in buying uh, a solar system or an energy solution. Yes. Um, very interested to understand from your perspective, um, both from an industry perspective and uh, from a tropical energy solutions as, as a business, where, where you see both industry and tropical in the next two years. Well, I think there is a, an underlying uh, growth and, and lots of opportunities uh, that uh, is very easy to see. 
However, we have also seen that in recent years the industry is very dynamic, it's changing very quickly. Uh, technology provides both opportunities but also challenges. Uh, the legislative environment in which we are operating is also changing very quickly. Uh, so it requires that uh, a business or anyone who is involved in this industry in whatever form, utilities, system providers, even customers and operators, we all have to constantly review what we do and how we do things uh, and to take advantage of new developments uh, like energy storage, uh, like uh, load management and load shifting opportunities. So in general I'm very uh, positive and I think we are in a, uh, in a time where anyone who can be around for the next five or ten years will witness a lot of change. Tropical energy solutions, using engineering, energy audits, considered approach to what energy solution will be correct for customers. Frank Delmayo, absolute pleasure for your time today. Thank, Thank you, you so John. much. Good to meet you.